You're listening to The Hit List with me, Numi, and I'm joined by Becky Hill. Hello. Hello, my darling. Are you OK? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good. I'm, um, I'm excited to talk to you. It's, uh, it's been a busy 2022 for you so far, kicking off with a Brit win, winning Best Dance Act, first artist to win the award for 16 years. How did that moment feel? Oh, incredible. Um, couldn't have been a more prouder moment for my manager, for me, for my fiance, for everyone sat around that little table that night. We were all like over the moon. It was it was an incredible night. I don't think I'll ever, ever forget it. I think uh, it's so well deserved, though. I don't think it could have gone to anyone else. Like you have really grafted and you are like a nonstop bop machine. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to use that as my tagline. Oh. Copyright. <laughs> You're welcome. I heard, though, that you broke the award on the night. Have you managed to fix it yet? No, I need some super glue, really. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's very typically me. I'm one of the most clumsiest people you'll ever meet. I I didn't even leave the O2. <laughs> um, I saw another artist that I, I, I really love. Her name's Self Esteem. And. Um, I saw her and I had the the award in my hand and I kind of dropped it on the floor as I flung my arms around her. She is so awesome. I I think I would drop a Brit to hug her too. Exactly. (laughs) And then when we picked it up, the bottom was missing. And then we were all scrambling round, which apparently people saw on TV. Oh. Uh, (laughs) Looking for the bottom of the Brit Award. Amazing. Well, it's a story now, isn't it? It's an incredible story. I um, I feel very grateful that actually I dropped that because it <laughs> it, um, it, it gives me more of a thing to say than, yeah, I won a Brit Award. Yeah, I won a Brit Award and I broke it. But you didn't fall over on stage. So that, w- that would have been the hat trick, winning a Brit Award, falling over to collect it. And, and then dro- yeah. <laughs> you can do that next year. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I will, I'll probably fall over at some point. I'm not going to manifest that, though. I'm no. going to win a Brit Award in 2023, but stay on my feet. Yeah, nice. We love that. <laughs> um, you also recently got engaged in January. Huge congratulations for that. Have you, have you started planning already or are you just like, not yet? No, no way near yet. I think um, I'd really like to get another album out of the way. So that's being written this year. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we'll release it next year and then we will probably look to get married the year after. But there's absolutely no rush from us. And I think we've both got a lot more that we want to achieve before um, getting married and, and doing the, the marriage thing. Yeah. Do you think you'd want like a big wedding or a small wedding? All I know is that I would really like it to be because um, my fiance is a festival booker, so he—that's how we met. He booked me for a festival. Oh wow! Um, in the Alps, yeah. So that's what he—that's that's what he does, and he can do it with his eyes closed. He's very good at it, and um, and and at curating lineups and and creating parties. Um, so I know what that whatever happens, there has to be a really big party, and I would love to have. A festival wedding. A festival wedding, because he does Boardmasters, which is like on the cliff overlooking the Cornish Sea. And he's from Cornwall originally as well. So it would be lovely to have a couple of stages and everyone's staying in teepees for an evening before heading back to a hotel. So that's that's where I'd like to be. If you could have anybody on the lineup, three big acts for your wedding festival, who would they be? Oh, that's a very good question. I'd love to have Biffy Clyro. Oh, yeah. For the rock era. Um, I'd love to have, like, the Basement Jacks. Oh, alive. yeah. And I think I'd got to have a drum and bass person. So it would, I think I'd have to have Andy C oh. um, for, the, for, the, for the late night drum and bass. I think you cover all bases there. That would be a great lineup. Yeah, I've got to have the Heritage Orchestra there as well. They've got to do the, the, the wedding, oh. the wedding aisle, because I do the Heritage Orchestra and Pete Tong shows the Ibiza Classics. So, um, so yeah, we'd we'll, we'll have to have them there. And they're mental and they love a party, so they'll definitely have to be there. Well, it sounds like you've planned it, sorted. <laughs> I just, I just, yeah, I just know the people that I'd want to be there that would be up for a really good party. Yeah, amazing. So you've got a new single out, working with Galantis. How was that? Had that process working with them? Oh, amazing! I haven't met them. It's always 
funny, isn't it, that these songs come out and you still don't get to meet them. But um, they had sent me a song um, that they wanted me to vocal and the songwriter in me wanted to steal the instrumental and write my own. And that's exactly what I did too. <laughs> um, so I just had like the first two lines of the chorus um, the, the lyrics, which is quite weird for me. I don't usually get lyrics to later down the line, but I had the lyrics and the melody. And I took it into um, my best friend, Emanike, who I've been writing with for 10 years. Yeah. And, and sang him the idea. And, and me and him built a song around it and um, sent it back to Galantis. They absolutely loved it. I begged them to be a feature on my record. <laughs> and um, and here we are. I'm, I'm really proud of this one. And I think it's the, the best song that I've ever done. It is so good. It's so good. Yeah. I think it's going to get stuck in my head and probably everyone's head forever. And that's when you know it's a good one. <laughs> that's the aim. That's the aim. You want people to love it so much that they're sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> like a really good chocolate cake. <laughs> exactly that. Um, and the music video looks amazing, filmed in Cape Town. How was that, uh, filming it? I loved it. I've never been to South Africa before. I've always wanted to go. Um, and I have a friend from who lives, who was from Cape Town who gave me the best recommendations as well. But um, we went there. We went up Table Mountain. Um, we shot up Table Mountain as well. And we shot on the beach. We shot in this incredible um, architect's house. Um, we had some in incredible scenery to just shoot from and it was it was amazing this was probably the first video that I've shot in a long time that I can come away feeling like that I look like a proper pop star it's it's real pop star stuff that one yeah so um so yeah it's it's a big step up for me and I'm I'm super proud of the video as well I know exactly what you mean that kind of big pop star energy yeah exactly that so you mentioned that you would like to get album two out of the way before you get married and that you've started working on it. Is it still very early days? Can we get any teasers or is it all still in the works? Um, no, it's, it's definitely still in the works. I mean, it's I've only just started going back into writing sessions and finding the time in between promo and Brits and engagement and birthday. And <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's... It's just started, but it's exciting. I love writing music. I always, I always like, it always comes flooding back to me how much I love writing music when I go back into a writing session. You know, you can get so caught up in doing festival shows and, and touring and stuff like that that you, you kind of forget how much being creative is amazing. Um, yeah. It's really nice to be getting back in the studio with people. Um, and, and yeah, so it's, it, I kind of want it to be a bit more of a maturer vibe than the last one. I spent nine years making the last one. So yeah. it's from when I was like 18, 19 to, to 27. And now I kind of want it to reflect the place that I'm in now. So um, I definitely want to keep using, I want to use live instruments. And I think that's where I've been really inspired by the Pete Tong Heritage Orchestra show because it's been dance music performed by live music live yeah instruments. and I, th um, I so think you can tell as well it's like um galantis's track with years and years with the live strings yeah. just gives it such a fuller sound yeah exactly and that's why i think that it was such a natural fit between me and galantis because i knew that that would be where they would take this song to and and i remember that the instrumental already had strings and stuff in there but I knew that they could really elevate it and they massively did and there's there's crescendos and all sorts in there that is you know that, that is really beautiful and I can't actually wait to start doing that um with with live instruments um hopefully I'll start doing that with for the acoustic with with strings and stuff so it's a very exciting times Oh, I can't wait already. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to play your brand new song now on KMFM. Can you introduce it for us? I'd love to. You are listening to KMFM. I am Becky Hill and this is my brand new single, Run with Galantis.